remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Oprah Winfrey said music mogul Russell Simmons attempted to pressure her about her involvement in a film in which several women detailed sexual assault allegations against him. She said that her decision to withdraw from the film, the On the Record film, was not made because Russell pressured her. However, it was made because there were some inconsistencies in one of the women's claims, a woman who goes by the name of Drew Dixon. Come on, fam. Remember back on January 10th, Oprah said she was stepping down because of creative differences with the producers. Specifically, she said that their creative vision was not aligned. Now she's saying that she stepped down because of the inconsistencies in one of the women's stories. But nevertheless, she says that she believes all of the women. How does that work? The woman has inconsistencies in her story, but you believe her without a doubt. Don't make a lot of sense to me. Now, this film is scheduled to be released on January 25th at the Sundance Music Festival. So we'll see how that goes. Oprah withdrew her support, I do believe, because of the pressure from the public with her attacking black men. That's why she stepped down, I believe. It was too much pressure. She got called out. She wasn't expecting so many people to call her out. And I think what really did it was when 50 called her out, because 50 has a huge platform. He called her out. And next thing you know, she fall back. Why? Why would she take on that anyway after what she th this whole R. Kelly debacle? Why would she do that? With all these white dudes out here, famous dudes, big time, committing sexual assault. Why is she just focused on the brothers? Why the black man? It is amazing how mainstream media uses black women to attack black men. I don't really know of a mainstream media outlet that uses black men to attack black women. But they got it bad finding them a good black woman to tear down black men. And Gail King ain't no different. She's Oprah 2.0. You can't pay me enough money to get on a platform and tear down black women. I'm not going to tear down any women, but I'm damn sure I ain't going to tear down that from which I came. You can't give me enough money. You can't give me enough money if I was doing my own thing like I'm doing it now. I can say what I want to say. I'm doing what I want to do. Got my own platform. But it's not going to be used to tear down black women. And if you come to my page, you come to my channel, and you try to tear down black women, you're going to get blocked. There are places that you can go. If you just want to tear down a black woman, there's plenty of clowns out there that's doing it. Go find them. This ain't the place. I uplift black women. You dig what I'm saying? I uplift black men. I uplift people, but specifically black women and men because they got a hit job on us out here in America. You know, they got a major hit job going on on us. So we ain't got that many voices. So that's why I tend to cover a lot more stories that's involving black women, black men, black children. 
is because America got a hit job out on our image. So it is up to people like me to combat it. Oprah, I do believe, is a paid shield for white supremacy. I think Oprah is a white supremacist. Yes, you can be black and be a white supremacist. All you have to do is carry out their orders and think like them. That's all you got to do. So I believe she's a white supremacist. I believe that the only reason why she's attacking um, Michael Jackson, that's what I meant to say, the Michael Jackson uh, story she covered. The only reason why she's attacking Michael Jackson, she's attacking Russell Simmons, is because the people who control her has given her the green light. Okay, that's cool. They're cool. You can get them. You can talk about him. Talk about him. Oh, you better not touch that. You better not say nothing about Matt Lyle. You better not come after uh, Harvey Weinstein. We'll tell you when we want you to say something about Harvey Weinstein. We'll tell you when we want you to say something about Matt Lyle. We'll tell you. Other than that, everybody else, you know, you can do what you want to do. But we'll tell you when to say something about our folks. In order for the mother folks to get it, they the people have to be down with it. They got to be all the way down with it. Then they can get it. But until then, you sit back like the good little Negro you are and you wait on our orders and we'll tell you who to like and who not to like. That's how it goes. So I'm not buying it. Uh, Russell Simmons ain't put no pressure on her. He probably called her as a friend and said, hey, what are you doing, Oprah? What are you doing? Boy, man, 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 man. Look how she did Michael Jackson. All up in the man house, eating his food, enjoying his, the comfort of his ranch, his friendship in life. The moment he died, she turned on him. Dragged the man name through the mud, knowing that that was a hit job on Michael Jackson's image the whole time he was alive. All his stuff that they were saying and his debt, they were saying when he was alive. But she was riding with Mike. The minute he dies, she can't use him anymore. Now she's riding on Mike. Her and Russell Simmons, best of friends. Best of friends. Now, she riding on Russell Simmons. Man, man, man. I don't care what nobody say. That is not a person that I would like to get to know. I don't care how much money she made. I don't care if she was the first black media mogul. I don't care nothing about that. What kind of person are you? I don't care. And that goes for everybody out there. I don't care what job you have, how much money you're making. I don't care how many records you sell, how many movies you box office. I don't care. What kind of person are you? Man, Oprah really does reinforce the old saying. With friends like that, you don't need enemies. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?